Welcome back to Lucid Daily, the number one source for Lucid news and information on a daily basis. And today we do have quite a bit to talk about, so let's get started. The first thing you want to take note of is Lucid was down a hefty 5.41% today and down almost a quarter of a percent in the after hours. This is largely due to the macroeconomic conditions. There wasn't any news regarding Lucid specifically. What I'm talking about is the kind of there's two parties at hand here. You have the Russian and Ukraine invasion and the Federal Reserve. Um, and, the, and the uncertainty that lies in both of those. You have Russia and Ukraine that's kind of doing a dance of, yes, we're going to invade, no, we're not going to invade. And it just kind of weighs on the stock market as a whole because if there's a significant war, that would impact the world economy and in part the United States economy as well. And then on the other hand, you have the Federal Reserve and the uncertainty that lies with how much that'll, how much the raise of interest rates and how much interest rates and how much that will affect the economy as a whole. And if we're going to go into a recession, if we're not going to go into a recession. So there, more than anything, there's just a lot of uncertainty that's in the markets right now. I'm not going to spend too much time on the macroeconomic environment, but I do just think that that's important that we understand. You do see the effects of that on Tesla as well, although they do have some drama going on behind the scenes, but I won't cover that in this video. They are down 2.2%. You have Rivian up 2.5%. The only thing that I saw with Rivian is that they do have some sort of pilot production test for their own battery factory, but that, I don't think that was too big of a reason why I was propped up today. GGPI was up 2.6% today i think that's just because it's a highly mentioned ticker on wall street bets right now and also they did have a super bowl ad that performed pretty well you did have barris workshop do a lucid flyover today and he got some pretty cool pictures one of the pictures that you can see they're starting to have some construction going on in the parking lot where they're holding the cars i don't know if they're installing a light right here but you can see some tractors um so we'll definitely keep our eyes out for what's going on in this part of the parking lot you do have 163 cars so i do think it is safe to assume that there may be some green um some grand tourings in here I don't really know. There's the only thing, the reason there wouldn't be grand tourings in here is one, if my counting is really off and we really haven't gotten anywhere near close to 520. When well, we've seen the five, the high 400s already, so I imagine that some of these are grand touring. The other thing that you do want to keep in mind is it's very, it's slightly possible that Lucid produced more than 520 Dream Edition. I I don't think that is possible. I don't think that is the case because that would depreciate the value that there was only 520 made and those owners of those 520 would not be happy at all and that may open up some issues so that is just something you want to keep your eye out for and yeah but overall you are seeing lucid crank out some cars you can see a lot more without coverings over here um and then i believe i nope let's go back let's go back um Something that's really good about Lucid right now is that you do have a lot of companies like Ford. They're start, they're halting or slowing down a lot of their EV production, and you have a lot of other companies that are having struggles with producing their electric vehicles. But it's good to see that Lucid is continuing to push out vehicles. We don't get a lot of insights on how their production is going or their manufacturing issues or anything like that. But to see Lucid pushing out cars is really good news um, as an investor with Lucid that you want to take a look at. The next thing that you do want to look at is. Um, CNET push, published an article uh, about Lucid today, and one of the main quotes that I want to take from it is it says, but has Lucid actually delivered on its promises of performance, range, luxury, and quality? After spending a day driving the Air Dream Edition, my answer is a resounding yes. Now, there wasn't too much in this article that was relatively new. There wasn't anything on the business side. It was pretty much just on the tech aspect and the driving aspect. You guys can go read that if you want. Um, but overall, you're getting such high praise from the quality of this product, which is really good news. Um, th they did test drive. Um, CNET was, did have production number 108. So it's just an interesting fact. Next, I, I kind of want to talk about this. This is one of the re main reasons I talk, I made this channel is because this is, is, Lucid, is Lucid the worthy Tesla challenger? Um, investors have been waiting for now the only issue that I really have with this article is they do actually a really good job of covering lucid but the fact that they call it a Tesla Challenger kind of it just as you can see here I did a control F for the amounts of times they mentioned Tesla and it was once in the title and once at the very end um, so these articles are kind of misleading kind of have to take them with a grain of salt when I call them Tesla Challengers because you can't really call a company with 520 deliveries a challenger of a company that's producing almost a million a year it just seems kind of skewed so I just want to keep a level head here I'm extremely excited for lucid in their future um, but they, they did mention actually one tidbit in this article that did make me extremely happy because it's a it's a unique aspect that I haven't thought a lot about it says with ca cash uh, with cash of more than 6.8 billion, Lucid is arguably one of the most financially flexible EV companies. I'm really excited to take a look at Lucid's financials post earnings and see exactly how much cash burn they have and everything that goes into that. I will be covering all of that as well as a live stream with their earnings call. So if you guys want to see that, 
come subscribe subscribe and come follow along with me as we take a as we follow along the earnings path of lucid pre-earnings we'll listen to the earnings call live and then we'll analyze it after so that is something to look forward to the next thing that you want to take a look at is lucid didn't have a tweet about another one of their employees who they they like to highlight their employees and how their unorthodox paths end up at lucid and how they can contribute now something that i do want to talk about uh, is Tesla has been in the press a lot lately, a lot of very negative press regarding Elon Musk, regarding um, some over-the-air update recalls. That that's, that's a whole story in itself. Something that I am appreciative as a Lucid investor is the fact that they do seem to have a really good PR team that actually tweets. They try to promote the product in a good light. Whereas, I mean, I, I'm a huge Tesla investor, but something that is kind of annoying is there's a bunch of FUD that comes out against Tesla. And all you have the people that all you have for the people that really need to fight it are just your Twitter people. And they do a great job of trying to clarify, but those big news sources really do weigh down on Tesla quite a bit. But at the end of the day, people are like, who cares about the, the news if Tesla can keep putting up these numbers? So I, I just am extremely grateful that Lucid does take the step forward to try to um, dispel any FUD and just promote their products in a positive light. It doesn't cost them anything to make a small, I mean, it might cost them a little bit, to make a small little video highlighting one of their employees. One, it shows that Lucid is a good work environment environment that they actually care about their employees Two, they're active on social media promoting their brand three it's just good that they're active putting their stuff in a good light you have seen Tesla start to do slightly more of this um, but overall I'm really happy that lucid does have what seems to be on the ball PR team even if that does cost a little bit in these early EV startup days it does heavily compress the stock if you have FUD after FUD after FUD attacking these companies. So if you guys have not yet, I hope you guys consider subscribing. I really enjoy making these Lucid Daily videos. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure to reply to every single comment. And like always, I greatly appreciate everything that you guys do and all the support that you guys have given me thus far. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic weekend. I will be back on, um, maybe I'll get a video up this weekend for Lucid Daily if I can find something that's unique, but more than likely we'll be back Monday. I'll see you guys there and like always i thank you for your support i'll see you tomorrow i'll see you whenever <laughs> happy investing